Hello and welcome to the channel. Maybe you noticed we're just getting started. There's a ton of stuff, a ton of stuff in the works. So thanks for checking us out. In this episode, let's take a look at the first SFO D-D -D from Joy Toy. Joy Toy is from China. It's been around a while. This is my first set and I'm a little disappointed that I didn't get to it sooner because these are awesome. The detail, the accessories. I've even seen them on eBay for crazy high prices, but you know, maybe some of that has to do with the limited availability now. I, I don't know. Uh, as we get rolling around here, when I pick up something, I'm going to try to pick up a few extra pieces just in case, uh, you know, there's a few of you that want them because, you know, I hate scalpers. So do you. So see what we can do about that to help you avoid that. Uh, I work in China, so it's a little bit easier for me to get, get the stuff that's manufactured over here. Anyway, uh, let's get on to what you came for. Quick spin around the box. I'll, I'll drop some stills in here so you can see it a little more clear. The cover art, awesome. Front cover, back cover, Joy Toy on the back. On the top. Page recommendation and the warnings. Bottom. Some product information. Side, on forces. I'm guessing this is something like Armed Forces as well. Nice box. Good quality. Reminds me of uh, the stuff that candles come in. Don't ask me why. I don't know. I don't buy candles, so I, I don't know why that registers with me. But uh, yeah, it's a nice quality uh, plastic box. So cool. Let's crack it open. It open. Let's check out the guys first. Nice and secure packaging. Kind of separated well. No movement so they don't slop around if you have to move them around. Check out the guys first. I'm going to pull this guy on the left. Oh yeah, it's cool. Actually, it's for kind of light. But I don't mean light by like the weight. I mean the light like it, how everything moves kind of freely. It's nice. So the details, what I'll do is I'll kind of give you a rotisserie view <laughs> and then I'll put uh, I'll put a still photo in so you can, can see it in more detail. This guy looks cool. Dig the beard. Looks uh, nice and detailed. American flag. Seems like all these... Uh, oh, there's the holster for the handgun. So it feels like the vest comes off. Very nice, very nice, very cool. Okay, let's check out the next dude. This guy feels a little more weighty, I think, because he has the backpack on. Looks kind of angry. All right, so good detail. With the shotgun shells on his belt. Backpack detail. Get another holster for the pistol. I like the American flag on the pull cap. It seems like these, oh yeah, these elbow pads rotate and move. So probably can come off if you take the arms off, change them out. Yeah, good detail. Like I said, I'll give you a rotisserie view. This guy's a little bit harder to stand up, feels like, because he's a little, a little back heavy. So you gotta have a weird posture. Cool. All right, last but not least, who do we have? So Operations Kai, same kind of thing. Elbow pads move around, vest. Yeah, all this gear can pop off. This is all, all loose. I don't think these come off. Oh yeah, maybe they do. Maybe they don't. Good detail, another holster for the handgun. Of course, interchangeable heads on all these guys all have the scarf. It's kind of cool. Logos. Yeah, 
Seems really cool. I love the detail, man. Watch on his arm. Yeah, they're, they're, they're looser. I, just, I think back to G.I. Joe, you know, when you first pulled those dudes out of the pack, out of the package, they were all kind of stiff. Couldn't move them until, well, <laughs> until they went through the mud or the pool or whatever, and that loosened them right up. Kind of cringe thinking about that now, how badly I treated those guys. These days I obsess whether even to open the boxes. I'm glad I wasn't a collector when I was a kid or I wouldn't have had any fun. I love cracking open the boxes and playing with this stuff. So yeah, this, these guys are cool. Yeah. Easily post tons of articulation. I mean, wrist, elbow, shoulder, neck, head, waist, of course, leg, has knee and even ankle and oh also the toe toe that's kind of cool Make for some interesting posing i guess and especially if you're using these for a diorama i think it would be really cool it's not really like gi joe they don't really name these guys or anything they just say it's the first sfod Guys in the military probably know it was, you know, what that means, or if it's even a real thing. But yeah, they look cool. They look super cool. In fact, I'm super happy. My only disappointment is I didn't, you know, I've, I've had these for a while. I live in China. I got these a while back and moved a few apartments and just kind of forgot about them. Then I saw them, so I took them out. The biggest disappointment about this review is I didn't open them up sooner or starting to get involved. This is my first set of joy toys, so this is. Uh, Definitely won't be the last. They're they're cool. Okay, so I'll drop in some steel pictures so you can get some good good ideas of what they look like. What I'll do is I'll uh, from the data sheet I'll um, load out the guys with all the accessories, and uh, we'll take a look. Okay, so here is the data sheet that comes with the kit. First SFOD DSD Armed Forces. Inside it shows the loadout of each soldier, although they're interchangeable. You can use the guns on any, any of the guys can handle any of the weapons. So this gun just shows you the, uh, what they give you from the factory. So the back of the kit. Shows how to uh, change the joints. Stay away from fire and do not play with violence. So be careful. Let's talk a minute about accessories. The foot locker. Looks pretty cool, like it's been on a few missions. Has a bunch of stuff inside. And uh, you can see there's a mix of things. So why don't I dump them all out and get them sorted and we'll take a look. The Foot Locker comes with a bunch of items. Three handguns, a tomahawk, a pair of binoculars, closed fists for all of the uh, figures, and extra joints in case you break one. So each soldier has a long gun. Uh, they look to be all different kind of setup, which would be you know, probably right. Everybody has their own choice in the field, I guess. and also a 50 caliber with a working bipod so that's pretty cool there's also a laptop like a rugged style laptop field, field laptop I don't know if there's a name for this just laptop and a shamak very nice addition There are three interchangeable heads, nice details, with, all with the helmets on. This one has the mask. Pretty cool. Same kind of thing, helmet and visor. So it's interesting when you swap the heads on these, there's actually a neck piece. Um, and we'll get into that later when we review the, the actual soldiers. All right, 
So this guy, yeah, I really dig the beard and the sunglasses, it's cool. All right, so let's add his weapon. Looks like he's got the weapon with the uh, forward grip. Yeah, even his fingers, I don't know if you can see that detail, but it looks like he's got good trigger discipline. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, what we'll do is I'll change the head on him, show you how that works. So it's pretty easy. These things just kind of pop off, but the, you see the whole neck came out. It's kind of an inset ball joint. If you just try to put this on, of course it wouldn't work. You're gonna need that neck piece. So that neck piece just kind of pulled out over the heads it in whatever new head you want to put on your dude and then that goes down inside so there he is with his face mask and helmet yeah that looks pretty cool okay so let's go back to the the Shemed. put this on yeah, you can see kind of it contours around his equipment. That would be too small for the other dudes. So I think it's made for this guy. And then, yeah, it fits his beard. So yeah, that's some cool detail right there. Yeah, this mod looks good. Really, really easy to pose them. I mean, like I said, they're kind of loose. They got a lot of articulation, so you can have the weapons, you know, weapons ready kind of stands, all kinds of stuff. I'll put a few poses at the end of the video, so you can see. Okay, cool. So it looks like the dude with the bad attitude rolls with the 50 cal, which is pretty sweet. Sounds right. I changed one of the fists out. And how that works is these things just pull right out. I mean, that takes a little bit of it. And right and they just pop right out they pop back in nice and easy i think the data sheet says to use hot water if they give you any trouble but it seemed like they were pretty easy to me actually some, some of them seem a little a little loose but that's okay so again he has his side arm and the 50 cal This one was a little, he's a little bit harder to pose. Like I said, I think it's just the weight on the back. Yeah, there he goes. And the last dude. I gave the other guys more love just so you could see all the details and stuff, but there's not much that's uh, different on this guy. Holster for the sidearm, has his individual weapon. All are interchangeable. Neck and head joints all the same. Articulation same. Just super cool, man. Super cool. I'm sure you guys can think of much more interesting poses than I can. <laughs> but here's the best pose ever. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Thank you very much. See you in the next one.